Honor Flight Kern County was founded by Lily Marsh as a tribute to her father and all of the veterans in our community. Since its inception, organizers have completed 49 successful trips to our nation's capital. But one local veteran has never been on one of these trips. Bill Oroville Cromit, Lily's own father, who always stated there were others more deserving of a seat on this adventure. On Tuesday, community members gathered at the Bakersfield National Cemetery for one final salute for Bill to honor his service and his spirit. I'm your senior reporter, Veronica Morley. A man who's been all over, from Wisconsin to Illinois and the Philippines to Tokyo. But it's here in Bakersfield where Bill Cromit is being remembered. Some 3,000 local veterans have had the opportunity to take the life-changing trip. And that's quite an honorable legacy that is. The New York native served in the Army Air Corps in World War II, setting up communications as a radio mechanic until he returned to Long Island in 1946. Over the next 50 years, he and his family would make the journey from New York to Florida, stopping in Washington, D.C., so he could introduce his children to the monuments and history of veterans before him. But you've well, seen all of those. We've been, been to the Smithsonian. Back and forth, yeah, we went to the Smithsonian, was there. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, we were just little kids. We were little kids running around. I don't know. <laughs> While she didn't know it at the time, Promet's daughter, Lily, would be returning to these monuments regularly, using her father as the inspiration for Honor Flight Kern County. To watch the transformation while you're there of somebody that's carried a burden for so many years, be that World War II, Korea, or Vietnam, they just, you can watch it happen, and there's nothing more rewarding than that. Cromit passed away on May 1st at the age of 98, while he was never on an honor flight. I tried to get him to go all the time, and so did everyone else. His service and legacy helped inspire the experience so many veterans today call once in a lifetime. This year, Honor Flight Kern County will embark on a major milestone with its 50th trip to the nation's capital. Marsh said her father's flag will finally be on that flight. In Bakersfield, I'm your senior reporter, Veronica Morley.